Hello everybody, welcome back to you, the first weekly vlog of 2022. This week is the week before my January exam, so stay tuned for lots of revision, lots of baths to chill me out, lots of flowers, lots of candles, a little bit of work alongside to earn that dollar, and you guessed it, lots and lots of Anki, past med, and cuddles with Ollie. Hi everybody, good morning. Welcome back to the first weekly vlog of 2022. That's such a mouthful saying that. This week is the week before my exam. Dun, dun, dun. At King's, where I study medicine, we have these things called progress tests, which basically means we sit the same sort of exam, questions on the same topics that will actually sit for our exam that counts we sit them like all throughout the year so we get like practice but it's a bit scary because you're basically tested on topics that you haven't learned before but i am working today vaccinating but the rest of the time is gonna have to be some hardcore studying <laughs> So I've been really lucky to be able to work as a vaccinator at a GP in London. It involves giving the vaccines and making sure that we've put the data into the computer. It's difficult to film when I'm working, but I left work at half past five, headed home to a curry that had already been made for me by Alex, which was a very nice treat. So my Tuesday started with taking Ollie out for a walk, which is a really nice start to the day. Today is my first day of revision in the week before my fourth year at medical school, January written exam. I say written, but it's actually multiple choice. Now, don't assume that that means that it's easy because the multiple choice options, normally they're about five and normally at least four of them you think could be correct so yeah it's really difficult and sometimes it actually throws you more than if it just gave you the question and then you just wrote your answer because you sometimes second guess yourself don't get me wrong it is easier when you don't have a clue because you then have a one in five chance of getting it right so yeah a lot of educated guesses are made in these exams it is supposed to be in person it is on wednesday next week so i've literally got eight days to get some studying done, to get some knowledge into this brain. So of course I am addicted to my phone like the rest of the world, so I start by setting a forest timer so that I cannot go on my phone, <laughs> otherwise I do not grow my tree, which is very important to me. I started with, I think, replying to some emails to be 100% honest with you, before going and seeing which Anki cards I needed to review. After one tree was grown, I made sure that I started a new forest tree and I was very happy with myself, as you can see. I then had a little bit of work to do on my quality improvement project, which is why you can see me typing away now. This is something that we have to do alongside our usual medical studies. Then it was back to the grind, back to the Anki cards while Alex was walking around and chatting to me. So as you can see, I managed to get through all of my Anki cards. I studied 442 cards in just under 40 minutes. Then it was time to hit pass med up to go over some new questions and to make some new Anki cards based on the questions that I got wrong. In years three, I just used past med year one to three, but now I use the finals. As you can see, my average score is not very good, but I use past med to actually learn and study rather than just revising. That's what I tell myself to help myself sleep at night anyway. I used to be a massive note taker, but since this year I've really changed up how I study and revise and I find that I'm able to concentrate for a lot longer just by doing questions rather than aimlessly writing out notes. So if you are struggling with how to study, then definitely give past med a try. Finally, it was coffee time, which was much needed. Hi guys. So as you saw, I managed to finish my Anki questions and now I've just moved on to past med and doing women's health. But I've done about 40 questions of women's health and I'm now bored of women's health. This is the best thing about medicine exams is that you can just pick and switch because the way that the exam works is that it just includes everything and it's not even set out like by specialty or by block, it's just all mixed up. So 
that's what I'm telling myself as my revision has absolutely no organization whatsoever it's just like get stuff done um because I could procrastinate making a revision schedule like big time so I have always just pretty much got stuck in with it hi guys I just want to briefly interrupt the weekly vlog to talk about today's sponsor medical protection is the world's leading member-owned not-for-profit protection organization for doctors dentists and healthcare professionals medical protection can help with any medical legal problems that may arise during your time as either a healthcare student or as a healthcare professional. They offer support throughout your studies and your career so that you can be the best possible doctor, dentist or other healthcare professional. Not only do medical protection support doctors and other healthcare professionals and students in the UK but also in places such as South Africa, Singapore and the Caribbean to name a few. So I'm a member of Medical Protection and I know that as medical students talking about medical negligence and other ethical issues that can arise as both a student and professional can seem a little bit scary but that is why I know that with the help and support and advice from Medical Protection that I will have the best support possible if something were to arise. So I feel very confident with being a medical student and a future doctor with their help. What I really like about medical protection is their philosophy to avert these problems in the first place by promoting safe and good practice through various resources that we can all learn from. To join medical protection, head down to the description where you will find the link. As a medical student, it is completely free to join and there are lots of benefits of signing up, not just in terms of medico-legal protection. When you join, you will be joining a network of almost 300,000 medical professionals. Right, back to the weekly vlog and thank you again to the sponsors of today's video. Hi guys, I just want to briefly interrupt the weekly vlog to talk about today's sponsor. Medical Protection is the world's leading member-owned not-for-profit protection organisation for doctors, dentists and healthcare professionals. Medical Protection can help with any medical legal problems that may arise during your time as either a healthcare student or as a healthcare professional. They offer support throughout your studies and your career so that you can be the best possible doctor, dentist or other healthcare professional. Not only do medical protection support doctors and other healthcare professionals and students in the UK but also in places such as South Africa, Singapore and the Caribbean to name a few. So I'm a member of medical protection and I know that as medical students talking about medical negligence and other ethical issues that can arise as both a student and professional can seem a little bit scary but that is why I know that with the help and support and advice from medical protection that I will have the best support possible if something were to arise. So I feel very confident with being a medical student and a future doctor with their help. What I really like about medical protection is their philosophy to avert these problems in the first place by promoting safe and good practice through various resources that we can all learn from. To join medical protection, head down to the description where you will find the link. As a medical student, it is completely free to join and there are lots of benefits of signing up, not just in terms of medico-legal protection. When you join, you will be joining a network of almost 300,000 medical professionals. Right, back to the weekly vlog and thank you again to the sponsors of today's video. Good morning, happy Wednesday. It is just gone 10 o'clock, which you may think is a bit late. Um, and it is a little bit, but basically I wasn't gonna talk about this on here, um, but Ollie, bless him, had his operation um, to be um, castrated yesterday. So, <laughs> come and say hi. Hello, hello. Oh, a nice look of the camera. Oh, 
oh and my eye i have got my cup of tea i've just had a shower and washed my hair in attempt to wake myself up hence why i look like this i am going to set myself the goal of getting four hours of good quality revision done today you may think that's not a lot in the week before an exam but life has happened life is happening other things outside of medical school exist for most people i will catch up with you later of course i will bring you with me throughout the day oh this is actually let me show you my mug can you see it they're little cockapoos so i actually have a desk over there which i recently bought it's a bit messy at the moment but recently I've just been sitting at my like kitchen table. Anyway, let's stop procrastinating. I'm gonna do half an hour to get me started on my four hours and then I'm gonna have some breakfast. So first things first, I set my forest. I don't actually follow the Pomodoro effect. I kind of just see how I'm feeling. If I'm on a mission and I'm going strong, I just carry on. If I feel like I need a coffee or a break, then I just take one. I just find it a bit too structured, like a Pomodoro effect. And sometimes it can really disrupt my flow. Of course, I started with my Anki cards as per usual. Then it was time to set another forest up and get back to my work, get my brain flowing. Okay, I thought I would just stop and say that when I get to a question where I literally don't know what it is, like if I get a question wrong and I'm like, okay, I know what this topic is, I sort of know what you're talking about, I can understand the reason why that's the answer and why the answer I put was not the answer, that's fine, I just go straight in and make my Anki flashcard. But when there's a topic that I don't have a glue on, I will watch one of the videos that PassMed gives you, or I will go and Google it if there's no videos. So this one is on hypo and epispadius, which I've literally never heard, but apparently it's when the urethra, it's like during, it's in like neonates and the urethra inserts too high or too low, like not in the normal place. I think but anyway I'm literally only one minute into this osmosis video on it but that's what I do there's no point just writing something down if you literally don't have a clue so this was me watching the video on osmosis on the topic that I'd literally never ever ever heard of then it was time for some lunch a parma hamburger and some chicken soup it was my current go-to a little bit odd but hear me out it's great then I migrated to the sofa which is never ever a good idea Never ever, but I never learn and just wait to see as to what happened and why I'm saying it's never ever a good idea. Hi guys, not gonna lie, did fall asleep for like a solid two hours, but here's with the realistic vlogs. Hey, no more toxic producti productivity on YouTube when Tash is around and openly admits that she had a nap for a couple of hours let's just say um but that's okay i honestly absolutely zonked with ollie not sleeping last night apparently just making him his rice and chicken um and apparently that's all they can have they need a bland diet after their operation um so yeah i'm doing that these wafers are literally let me show you them they are so 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 good mm. anyway i have only done <laughs> about two full hours of forest <laughs> and i thought four hours was really realistic by this time of the day um but anyway not to worry the day is still young yeah, this time this evening i mean i am going to do a little bit more I just found out my exam is actually online which makes it slightly less stressful um because obviously the internet is there. I don't know whether I'm going to use it or whether I'm not. For the last progress test, which is online, I did. But then I think our actual exam, which really counts in May, is obviously going to be in person and Google won't be there. So it's like, do I want to see where I actually am rather than just like doing well? But I actually find that I learned, I learned a lot more when I was using Google and actually finding out the answers rather than just guessing and being like, this is a waste of time. So I don't actually know what I'm going to do. I'm going to decide near the time. I'm probably not going to use Google and just see how I go. See what I really know, what I really struggle with, etc, etc. Mm. 
this is what it's come to because I am literally dying of tiredness. Guys, we've only done three hours. Um, and this is the current situation. Me and Ollie are on the sofa watching TV. I really must focus on ticking any boxes off their wish list that they just won't get her. But, you know, my counter argument for only doing three hours is that I was scoring pretty highly. I just stuck to paediatrics and I'm scoring like 65%, which is very good for me. I'm watching Kirsty and Phil's Love It or List It, which is just a bit of a guilty pleasure, anything like property such. Anyway, I'm going to watch this. You probably can't hear me because the TV's on really loud, but yeah, bye. Oh my word. <laughs> look, look at my eye bags. Happy Thursday, everybody, from the absolute mess that I am. Um, I look awful. Um, this coffee is so needed. I am vaccinating today again. My little, my little vaccine team fleece. Um, which, you know, if I wasn't, I would probably be asleep all of today because I'm absolutely shattered. I just, I can't get used to waking up in the dark still. Not a fan. So, coffee and banana. And yeah, I get to see Zara today, which is really exciting. I haven't seen her since like way, way, way before Christmas. Probably like three or four weeks. Um, so that's literally the only thing keeping me going, which is making me sound very cringy, which I'm sure she'll love if she watches this vlog. Um, oh, coffee, <laughs> coffee. What is better, that first sip of coffee in the morning or first sip of tea when you get back home? First sip of coffee because nothing else is cheering you up. Whereas when you get home, you're like, oh, it's fine, I'm at home, I can watch TV, I can get into bed. The tea is just a part of it. Whereas in the morning, coffee is really the only thing. My lateral flow test is brewing. <laughs> Negative so far. Um, need to give it another 10 minutes so I'm going to probably take it with me in the car. Right, stop vlogging. Get ready, Tash. Who it is? Hey guys, we're back at work. <laughs> this time last year, we, we were here, we started here. Okay, like a few weeks yeah. later. We, well, I did. I did a few weeks later and Tash started here. <laughs> and now a year later, we're still here. We've not. That's a bad thing, but... Okay, so again on Thursday as I was working, I didn't vlog much and once I got home I was absolutely shattered. So Friday again, today I decided to mix it up a little bit and I hit up Questmed rather than Passmed. Ollie. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy happy friday guys i know this week like i have not been looking my best but today i think tops it all my hair is up my glasses are on just having an ugly day basically an ugly week trying to do some revision failing miserably what's the time literally been walking ollie no who was trying to eat the rest of my bagel um look at him bless him we are about to start some Anki as per usual so we can see that there's a few to do. I mean at this point are you even a medical student if you don't use forest? Yes you absolutely are. <laughs> oh my word I'm on the sofa again why am I doing this? Oh it gets worse. The blanket is out surely this doesn't end well. Surprisingly, unlike Wednesday, I actually managed to get through about 50 questions sat on the sofa with Ollie, so that was nice. I've been so bad at vlogging today. Yeah, I think just after like quite a long break of not vlogging, I've literally forgotten how to do it. I am going to do 50 more past med questions and then probably call it a day, which is probably only going to take me like 45 minutes. Um, 
just not felt very motivated today. I think since my exam switched from in person to online, I've just lost a lot of motivation um, because obviously it's just not really a true reflection because people use Google. I don't, haven't decided if I'm gonna use Google. Um, anyway, I've got my cup of tea. Let's get on with some past med questions. If you hadn't realized yet, candles, tea, flowers, house plants that is literally me to a T. I don't know why I'm talking to myself. I'm a little bit confused. I'm hoping I'm talking to Alex. I think I was talking to Alex. Let's let's just go with that so the whole internet doesn't think I'm absolutely crazy. Hi from the world's worst vlogger in the whole entire world. Um I have just had my Wagamama delivery which I of course forgot to vlog. <laughs> I promise, if you're new to the channel, I know I've had some new subscribers. I am normally slightly better at vlogging than this, so please bear with me. I'm also like going backwards and showing you what I've done. And then we had some of this. Oh my word, the best ice cream ever. Hackney gelato, peanut butter and chocolate. So, so good. And I'm currently drinking a, I was about to say no zero alcohol, but it's actually 0.5% which is very very low um, alcohol uh, gin and tonic because I'm doing dry January and don't come at me like 0.5% definitely counts as dry January I worked out how many units are in one of these and it's literally like 0.1 and you, um, the NHS um, recommends staying under 14 units so like it's fine it's nothing it counts as dry January it's making me feel like normal um, but yeah a week into dry January and I'm feeling fine. I'm not I'm not missing drinking alcohol. That's a bit of a lie. I'm missing my glass of wine on a Friday, but not that much. Um, it's just become more of a routine, and it doesn't need to be like that, that way. Um, we've just watched The Apprentice from last night, and then Dragons Den. Very businessy. Um, I only just realised that what's his name, Stephen, uh, the guy that is the Diary of the CEO host and author of Happy Sexy Millionaire, what's his name? Stephen Bartlett is a new dragon on Dragon's Den. All madness. I'm now about to watch the final episode of Made on Netflix. If you haven't watched Made, I'd really recommend it. I absolutely love it. I've cried, I've laughed. I'm really bad at watching series. I, like, I don't have much concentration. Oh, hello. I don't have much concentration. I... I struggle to really get into something and I want to binge watch it. I've never been like a binge watcher of a series, but I've literally watched this in a few days, which is, is quite quick for me. Right, I need to stop talking. I will speak to you all tomorrow morning on Saturday. So bye guys. Right, please excuse the unmade bed. Um, quick OOTD, I've just got like a little, oh my god, my mirror is so dusty. Just a little black, oh, just a little black ribbed knit top, which you can't see. My favorite pleather trousers, veggie trainers, scarf, and my mango black coat. Very black, very wet, horrible weather outside. Um, it is about, what time is it? It is, my hair is just really annoying me at the moment. Um, it is half past one, I've just taken Ollie out. What are you upset about, darling? He knows I'm leaving. Where are you? Where are you? He literally can always sense when I'm leaving. But Alex is here, it's not like he's gonna be on his own. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go meet Zara in Canary Wharf, we're gonna get some coffee, have a little look around the shops. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you with me. See, speak soon. Hi everybody! Hey we are going to Amazon Fresh. I've never been before and I just remembered that there's one in Canary Wharf. And you've been before, I've been, right? Not so to cool. this one, have you? No, 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 I went to, to another one in um, West London. And apparently you just like pick it up and then it just automatically... You pick it up and then you take it home. And 
and then that's it, you don't have to pay. And just what you do just comes out of you. Yeah, own. unfortunately. <laughs> you get a notification like 10 minutes later, like £2.50 has been taken out of your car or whatever. But at least you don't realise that you're exactly, spending you don't money. To buy anything, so we need to go down the stairs. Free. I don't know where they are. This is the only thing about Canary Wharf which I hate. It's just, just confusing, isn't it? Are there stairs down here? Really too embarrassed to get the camera out. <laughs> Hello, oh my word. Hello, YouTube. Mm. I'm still eating last night's prawn crackers from Alex's Thai takeaway. We're such a bad couple, we literally order separate deliveries. How bad is that? So, me and Zara went shopping. As you saw, I got some jeans, I got a diary. Oh my word, yeah, let me show you my diary. It's so cute. I saw it. I was like to Zara, I was like, are those bumblebees? <laughs> because if they are, that is the diary for me. I think it's actually Kath Kidson, but it was in Waterstones. Um, it's so cute, it's so nice. Oliver! I've got my non-alcoholic wine, um, which is really nice. I wouldn't say it tastes like wine, but it's something, you know, it's something. We are having a Mexican, Mexican night. So I picked up old el paso fajita kit we've got some uh nachos to do we've got the tortilla chips the cheese the salsa the guacamole i just like doing something fun for dinner at the weekend so we either get a takeaway or do something fun <laughs> this is my definition of fun you're gonna be like oh my word you're so boring guys <laughs> what is this angle? Um, I just thought I would end the vlog here as I actually haven't filmed anything today. Alex and me just had a really nice day. If, you'd wa if you've watched my 2022 update, you'll know that we are moving house. So we went to the area where we're looking to move which is in North London today, just to have a little look around, suss out the local cafes, such first world problems, and local pubs and restaurants and parks for Ollie and the walks. Um, so yeah, that was really wholesome. It's now 10 past four, it's getting dark already. I'm just trying to tidy the flat because it's a bit of a mess. Um, we're gonna have some dinner and then just chill for the evening. So I really hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Give it a like, hit subscribe, and I'm gonna be vlogging this week which is actually my exam week so we'll see how that goes but bye until then bye